Welcome back. Now, the University of Evansville basketball team also being welcomed back to the hard floor, hardwood once again after they had to take a timeout because of COVID-19. 44 Sports reporter Joe Downs gives us a look at their bounce back. They're finally out of it now. However, the scourge of coronavirus did visit the Evansville men's basketball team a week and a half ago, forcing them to halt all athletic activities and go into quarantine. Not something any athlete or coach ever prepares for. The news came right after getting swept on the road in Peoria by Bradley. A pair of players testing positive for COVID-19, denying the players and coaches the opportunity to wash the bad taste in their mouths left by a three-game losing streak. Now the team is back looking to make up for lost time on the practice floor. It's not something I've ever uh, envisioned or prepared for, believe me. So in the middle of the season, although you don't want it to happen, the health of your student athletes and your staff and, and everyone is the utmost important. We had a couple positives, but everybody else remained negative. We did stay away from each other. We didn't practice for a week, even though we did the contact tracing and and all because we had traveled together, we just thought it was prudent not to. So we got together in small group uh, for a couple of days and just sort of reacclimated, and then everybody will be back together now. It's totally different. Uh, never gone through something like that. Um, you know, you're just sitting out. You take it day by day. You're not really doing anything. Just sitting in your apartment. We haven't really been doing much. Uh, we just got back uh, today. First, uh, like full go practice with everybody back. So it's really good to come back. Uh, you know, knock that rust off, like you said. Um, but we'll be ready come Sunday. Now the coronavirus may be gone from the Aces basketball program. However, it's still going to have an effect on the UE men's basketball schedule going forward. This weekend they'll be playing a rare Sunday Monday double header against Valparaiso. Then, as the league announced today, they will be playing the game they missed last week against Indiana State on February 17th up in Terre Haute. Reporting from Evansville, Joe Downs, 44 News.